another tutorial and in this demonstration I'm gonna tell you how you can actually extend your Linux file system to increase give some more space to your root volume or to the extended block storage so it might be sometimes the use cases comes up in a companies when we are working it. it's like when you having uh, easy to instant server is uh, using for certain application or for certain thing some services running inside and it might be the case that the volume is about to fill up completely 95 to 100 percent and in that case is you have to go inside that machine and look for it like either you can clear it up some of the old dump data or the cache clear or do something to make the machine works smoothly fine or you have to run the server or update your volumes so in this demonstration what i'm going to show you is like how you can actually increase your ebs test server volume so i already have a server up and running which is the ebs test server demo and if you look at the storage section i only have provided an eight uh, gigabyte of a volume size and I'm already connected with my server right now so if I just type df hyphen ht to list it in a human readable format uh, we can see here the dev xvda which is the xfs type of a volume which is among them use is 1.9 percent and available is 6.8 and the use is is 22 percent and the mounted on the root so now we know like it's 22 percent is used now assume that this is actually reaching to almost like a uh, 90 to 95 percent and we want to increase the size of 6.8 gigabyte to something like 30 or 40 gigabytes so what we're going to do is to in order to do that firstly we go to that instance we are going to come and look for the volume id which is the which volume is actually attached to that instance or the server we'll be running on clicking on it we will gonna click on the modified volume and we don't even have to stop our easy to instance or we don't have to reboot or anything so we're simply gonna come and provide it the maximum which uh, sort of a like the size with the new size information we'd like to provide make sure like you are following some uh, certain requirements the which you can find it in the, the elastic volume requirement section so that you are not uh, like outbreaking or breaking some of the violations which might lead you not to modify your volume so I'm just gonna modify the volume for here now the very important thing is like you have modified the volume from here and if I just click on the modium volification I can see the volume state is in use and modifying begins it might take depending upon how in which region you are deploying and how much uh, the volume size you have increased so it might takes a couple of minutes to 20 minutes either so you can see the volume size here it's increased to 30 minute 30 gigabyte and if I just go to the instance which is the EC EBS server demo and if you go to the storage we can see now it's changed from 8 to 30 gigabyte but let's just double check does it actually reflect it in our here in actually to the server but if you see still see behind the scene the your ec2 server is still pointing and referring to the 8 gigabyte in total of your ram or like oh sorry in space the reason is because we didn't extend it the Linux file system after resizing the volume so what we have to do we have to do a couple of steps to follow that and in order to do that first it's very important to find out what sort of instance you or the server you are running on it's like instance type is a nitro instance or the Zen base in order to find out whether it's a nitro versus this then all you have to do is provide it the class type of the EC2 if you don't know about the EC2 class types you can just simply look here and you just need to provide it the name of the class like it's a general purpose compute base or something and all you have to do is provide it the M like a instance size which is the m7g dot large and once you provided that in this section it will able to return to you the output of nitro versus the zen so let me just run the same command and i can show you here since this is a t2 micro so if i run that command you're probably going to see here i'm receiving the output of zen that means the instance of the server which i'm using it's a zen 
space and it's I have to follow the steps for the uh, Zen one rather than the Nitro instance so to follow it's similar pattern you need to follow in both nitro versus the zen so you don't get confused and as they mentioned like first thing we were going to check is the list of the uh, list blocks of the in our storage size so what we're going to do is like lsblk which is just stand for and you can also learn more about like what is blk actually do so it's just listing the block devices for your linux system and it's uh, provided the list information for all the available or the specified block devices so if you see in my case we only have one uh, list block where device and it shows me the partition there is only one partition which is xvda but you can see the 30 gigabyte is reflected on the xvda but it's not comes up on the xvda which is uh, the mounted on the root partition which is only one partition so what we have to do we just have to run some linux commands such as a grow part in order to reflect the changes onto the partition so first we're going to do is like we just simply i'm just following the same steps they mentioned in the aws documentation and we were going to come here and we were going to provide our so what we're doing is running a grow part which is for growing the partition and we're providing the actual dev xvda and we're providing the one stands for the partition one the moment i'm going to run this it will actually just going to reflect it and if I just run the list block again, we can see now the partition has actually been reflected to be 30 gigabyte available. And the moment if I just run now here, you still see that it's still sitting on 8 gigabyte rather than the 30 gigabyte. The reason is because we have to do one more step, which is about the extending the volumes. Now, in order to do that, what we have to do, we have to run the command to extend the file system different between and all you have to do is like either you have to run the XFS grow uh, file system hyphen D root or you have to run the resize GFS depending upon like uh, what sort of a file system you have, whether you have an XFS file system or external four file system. So if you see in our case, it is an XFS file system not the external four so what we're going to do we will going to run the command for the sudo xfs grow file system and the moment if i'm going to run it so now you can see the data blocks has been changed from this to this so what we have to do is like if i'm just going to reflect now i can see now i can able to see and reflect it on my xfs system that the size of my volume changed from eight gigabyte to 30 gigabyte now you can see like the previously the percentage of use of that storage root volume was 22 percent now it's reduced down to six now i have more available storage to put my data or my stuff which i needed for the server that's pretty much it for this um, demonstration i'm gonna link in link in it to the bio as well so you can just follow around and i'm also gonna start providing uh, the documentations along wise in my account on the medium channel so please come here subscribe to my fo follow me and learn more about it like how you can uh, do some of these stuffs which or you can give me some more use cases in terms of which you're facing in your companies and you'd like me to provide you the whole use case uh, that's it for today thank you so much